Hey, Denny in Sarasota, Florida. This is Matthew with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And before I get started tonight, I just want to thank you for your patience while I had tremendous difficulty getting this stubborn frame in. You think it's the most popular frame in the world. Should be easy to get. The Ray-Ban 2140 Original Wayfair Color 902, which is the classic tortoise in the 50 eye size. Let me take everything out. And actually, before I show you the perfect one, this was the problem. This is the one I got in and had a slight defect. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but when I heated the lens to take out the original glass lenses, this little piece where there was a light color of the tortoise just flaked, it chipped, and I'm just not going to send that out. That is the problem. That's what's been the holdup. So, without further ado, of course, your classic Italian leather Ray-Ban case, the Ray-Ban frame with junk cloth, I mean, with uh, cleaning cloth and junk mail, because you just don't get enough junk mail in your original mailbox. They have to send it to you now in your eyeglass case. But this is part of the icons. It goes through all the different ones. The Shooter, the Wayfarer, which we're doing tonight, the Caravan, Olympian. But again, let's waste no further time. This perfect one comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it's being shipped from Italy. And of course, I will put that on there when I ship to you. As mentioned before, this is the Wayfair Handmade in Italy. And again, this is the 2140 color 902, the classic tortoise in the 50 eye size. It is very dark, but hopefully when you hold it up to the light, you can see the original classic tortoise color on there. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to take your perfect mint condition frame where I've already moved, removed the G15 sunglass lenses. And I'm going to put it into the tracing element of my edger and hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic gray band frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you want prescription or fashion lenses and you have vision shorts or unused flex dollars you can use that, my itemized receipt, you can make that purchase with that. Now you upgrade it to the line style bifocal and polarize. One way you can tell polarized lenses apart is that when you hold both of them together, you should be able to see through them. When you hear the term polar opposites, if you turn one at 90 degrees, it goes pitch dark, it blocks all light. That's how you can test if lenses are polarized. You have to have one known one, but if you have two lenses, when you rotate them 90 degrees, it goes pitch black. That's how you can always tell if something's polarized or not. It's a specialized horizontal filter. Polarized block all horizontal light, just like you can skip a stone off of water. Light hits a flat surface and re reflects back up from roads, off of bumpers, windshields, especially in Florida, around the water. So it blocks all horizontal glare. It's like Venetian blinds for your eyes. It does not do anything to it. It blocks all light vertically, horizontally vertically that's what polarized does it's a specialized filter okay so this is the shape of the lens we'll be cutting tonight that was only magnified so that green outline is the minified version i'm going to magnify it while i'm working on it let's see which is the right lens that one is yeah because the inset of the bifocal so i'm going to place that there i'm going to put in your pupillary distance i'm going to do the the optical center, the height of that. Now this is a block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. Um, so I need to put a double-sided adhesive sticker on here, of which I have two. The black side is the sticky side, so I'm going to put that on the first block, rest it on the platform there, do the same thing for the second one. Peel the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now there's a little silver magnet on the back that's going to do its job twice tonight. The first time is right now. It's going to attach itself to something magnetical there in the arm. Woohoo! Come here, little sticky thing. Get in there. Stick in there. So I'm going to mark, let, do the change the layout that tells me it's a bifocal. It tells me where to line everything up. So I'm going to do that real quickly as I concentrate, lining up between these lines. And then I'm going to hit the Button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull that away, the paper way to make the black side sticky. Line up that magnet with something magnetical there in the arm. Now the pupillary distance and the optical center height have been switched. It has mirrored the right lens over to the left. I'm going to line up the height of the bifocal. Make sure everything lines up perfectly. 
hit the button the arm comes down and places the block onto the left lens now this is the edger this is what costs forty thousand dollars it weighs 200 pounds i recommend everyone go out buy their own put it on your kitchen counter at home and then you can cut your own lenses you won't need this guy anymore to do it for you so i'm going to wake up the computer that is the shape of the lens we'll be cutting tonight i'm just going to pick the lens material i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens I'm not going to put a bevel on the front surface, the convex surface of the lens. I'm not going to put a bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to put a hand bevel on there in just a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Let me put, let me make sure this is the right lens. That is the right. That is the left. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this into actually the actual cutting wheel is over here on the far right when it starts cutting everything's going to move this whole assembly is going to move to the center but this far right wheel with the white residue on there that's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away the lens material until it's the final size this wheel in the center is what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame so now we can go ahead and put the lens into the chuck or as i like to call it the charles because i don't know the machine well enough to call it chuck but that's when that little silver button that magnet's going to do its job a second time to hold it in place there i'm going to hit start which is the green arrow the door closes the clamp shuts and then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame and it is you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the lens and actually you will see the cutting wheel move over to the center and then water will begin spraying onto the lens as it cuts. Now your lenses have both 100% UVA and UVB protection. Our eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every few hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now in just a moment, it's, it's feeling it to know exactly where to place the bevel. It will now drop down onto the bevel wheel. Right now your lens is flat, just like a coin. I could take it out and it would stand up on the counter. Now it's getting the knife-like, the V-shaped bevel. So it stays inside the bevel of the frame. All right. I will open this door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can, it just takes me a couple hours, but I can do it. So let's dry the lens off and let's see if it fits inside the frame first time around. I'm gonna tuck it in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, I push down around the lens. Not just yet, I'm going to take it down another tenth of a millimeter. I'm going to tap this button, it's going to go in half, actually one twentieth of a millimeter. Tap it twice and now we're at one tenth. Hit retouch. And the lens is going to come back down onto the bevel wheel. Now, I do not want to, the reason why I'm taking it down a little bit, I do not want to force the lens into the frame. If I force the lens, it would cause it to stretch or to roll if you can imagine the bevel of your frame like a little gutter if the lens were too large it would force the bottom of the frame to roll outwards giving you an ugly cosmetic appearance as well as shortening the life of the frame because i cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide you want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses to make sure they are perfect oh i think we are done so let me take it out again Let's see if it fits first time around. I mean, this time around. It's being more stubborn. It's grown. It has grown since the last time. Nope, let's do it again until it fits perfectly. I'm going to take it down another tenth of a millimeter. Hit retouch. Now, the 2140 has an exceptionally deep bevel. 
That's why it was difficult getting the original lenses out. This frame was never designed to have prescription lenses put into it. This is the classic Wayfair, originally invented in 1952. We've had presidents, musicians. Bob Dylan wore this frame in all his videos. The Blues Brothers. This is the most iconic, the most famous, the most popular frame ever sold in the world. They have recently come out with the Geek Chic version, which is the Ray-Ban 5121, which is the ophthalmic version, which is intended to have prescription lenses put in it. But I am not deterred. I will put prescription lenses into anything. Dry everything off again. Tuck this in at the outside corner. Nope, still didn't want to go. Let's do another tenth of a millimeter. I apologize, this is taking longer than planned, but I just want everything to be perfect. So again, it's going to go back down onto the bevel wheel to take another tenth of a millimeter off. The right lens takes a little bit longer. Once we get the size just perfect, we'll flip it over and cut the left. All right, let's open the door up. Open the chuck. And there we go, it pops right in. Let's do the same thing for the left. Hopefully it'll go quicker. We flip that over to L, put the lens into the chuck, hit the green button. Just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts. And then the lens is gonna be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the frame. And then it's gonna drop down onto the cutting wheel. Of course, you have no edge thickness whatsoever with your prescription. Of course, these are non-prescription tops. In fact, let's go ahead and read the prescription off of here. Let's take this block off. Come down to my lensometer, put it in, read the prescription in the top of the lens, and I'm reading zero, which is also known as Plano in the optical world. There is no prescription in the top. This is just like their sunglasses, non-prescription. I'm gonna read the power of the bifocal and I am getting plus two. So you are farsighted, you have perfect distance vision, but you need two diopters of reading power. Everything goes in quarter increments, so it starts at 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 75, one. You're up to two, you need eight steps of magnification to read everything perfectly. Now, of course, this frame sells for $155. The line style bifocal starts at $69.99. You added another $59.99 to make them polarized, and your total is $284.98. Where's my flashlight? I got a smaller one, I just can't find it. All right, so that is done. Let's go ahead and Take it out and keep our fingers crossed that it fits first time around. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Push down on the nose and it does. It slips right in. Let me go ahead and take this block off. Pull the sticker off since it's no longer needed. Dry everything off of there. Put it in. Read the power. I am getting zero, no power whatsoever. Let's read the strength of the bifocal. And I'm getting plus two. So that comes out perfect. I just want to check the pupillary distance, which is 60. That is perfect. Let me check the height of the bifocal as well. That is perfect. Now, when you get these in the mail, of course, I explained to everyone that you do get free shipping, of course, Sarasota, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Sarasota, Florida is in the United States. But when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. 
However, there's an 80% chance that one side will sit higher than the other. That is because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. So three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. And when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and I press on the counter, they wobble but they sit level on me. It only takes about 30 to 45 seconds to adjust a pair of glasses properly. And again, I mentioned 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. I press down on the counter, there is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and the same tension on each hinge. So that is that. If anyone else has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. Denny in Sarasota, Florida. Again, I cannot apologize enough. You have been so patient. This took an extra week. I cannot tell you why. Well, actually, I probably do know why. There's one big optical convention in New York every year called Vision Expo, and we just had it. And I think they placed so many orders in New York, it was they were just slow getting this out. So, again, that is the delay. But I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut your polarized bifocal lenses for the Ray-Ban 2140 color 902 the classic tortoise and the 50 eye size and hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you